So these are all of the items that come in the kit, and I'll go through these quickly. This is the camera. This is called the Byte Tango Camera System. These are a higher power camera, night and day camera. Uh, it's all pre-wired, uh, and they provide uh, cables for this as well. They also provide your weatherproof gasket that goes onto the back. Uh, this is that really nice new 7-inch monitor, and you can see the two antenna ports. It also has a place where you can put in a micro SD card for recording. Um, you, they provide you with your antennas. They provide you with both a bracket if you want to install with a bracket. Um, they also have a bezel that goes on the front uh, if you have light coming in on it as well. They give you another mounting for option with the super sticky 3M tape that you can place on your dash. I'm not sure which one we're going to use yet. Manuals for setting up both the camera mo monitor and uh, a regular user manual as well. It's important if you've never done one of these before, there is a, whatever you want to call it, a marshalling or a syncing process. It's really simple to do, uh, but there are a couple steps that I'll be showing you on how to quickly set the, the camera up to this specific monitor, and then you have a secured connection. They give you all the screws, all the wire nuts, all the mounting that goes with it as well. And then they give you plenty of power connections. This is your power connection that I'll be using for the camera that's back here. And then they provide several options for powering uh, the unit. They have something called a pairing cable and a few other things here as well that if you have pre-wired solutions, I'll be using uh, this to be able to power the monitor. It's just real simple. Plug it in and just use it like that. I can always take it out of the truck if I have to have some work or repair done on that. That's really all that is to it. This is going to take minutes, literally minutes, to be able to install this. I am really excited. Well, I've got everything in hand. I've got my camera. I've got my gasket for the back for the weatherproof. Uh, I've got a couple screws and wire nuts, and I've got my power cable. Let's head to the back of the fifth wheel. This is going to take minutes to install this thing. We're going to take this off. I will go ahead and say there's a sticker back here. It says camera ready. And uh, you can go to Keystone and get their camera and monitor system. It's probably good. I don't know anything about it. But it's probably good. And uh, we're going to take this off. There we go. Look at there. I found wires. And... I imagine I'm going to take these and kind of clip this little doodad right here off. Be careful not to cut the wires. Now I'll share this with you. It's got two little holes rear here. Um, this was probably just for whatever this kind of a mount was. I don't know if their camera comes with that mount. Um, and I also suspect, suspect that these wires here are probably tied in. If you look up here at the top into these LED uh, marker lights. So we're gonna see if they've got power on them now. Um, I have got, I don't, I, I don't have any of the, the power coming back to these yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep these, get them ready. You're gonna need some basic tools. Uh, make sure you keep your, this is color coded on this Montana, you've got two white wires, and two white and green stripe wires. So make sure you don't cross those up or you're going to cause a problem. You're going to need some basic tools, okay? You're going to need that screwdriver. Again, I like to use the 9-in-1. Strongly recommend using a pair of inexpensive, these are Klein tool wire, wire, wire strippers, very basic. Um, I'm going to use an inexpensive Black & Decker cordless drill to drill these holes. Okay, I'm going to twist these together. I don't think there's any need to solder them because I'm going to be using this type of a compression waterproof lug, even though no water will be getting back in here. All right, I am going to strongly suspect at this stage that there's no power here. And here's how I'm going to validate it. Again, when you do these types of projects or you're going to have a, just maintenance on your RV again, go get you a digital voltmeter and uh, let's check and see if we have any power here. This is low power. It's not going to shock you. It's not going to hurt you. And I can just touch it like so and like so. And we have nothing. It's 
there's no no power okay I've connected the tow cable the uh, trailer cable to the truck and turned on the parking lights you can see my LED lights are on I'm gonna see where my power is at this is red is positive this is negative or common and we're gonna see if we've got voltage again this is low voltage it's not gonna shock you if you touch it it's not gonna hurt you and boom so it looks as though yep can you see it 11.66 volts 11.6 Three volts. Okay, got a little voltage drop coming back here. Still don't think that's bad. We'll see. I think that'll be well within the operating range. Now, polarity is important. I need to see which one is positive and which is negative. This is my positive probe. And it looks as though white with green stripe is positive because if I reverse it, it shows a negative reading putting the positive on the white. So on my camper, on mine, <laughs> test it for yourself. On mine, my white with green stripe is the positive side. So that's my positive. Okay, I'm gonna go turn this power off because I don't want these wires to touch while I'm installing. It calls a short blow fuse. There is a top and a bottom to this. That'll become more important here in just a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-wire everything and then attempt to stuff all this wire that comes with this unit. The pre-wire, stuff it all back inside here. We'll see how successful. I may end up having to do this twice, we'll see. All right, again, this is my positive and this is my negative. So for wiring this, red is positive, black is ground, and this is called trigger, trigger wire. So this camera has other installations where you may mount that, say, you know, somewhere else on a camper, or you've got a big rig truck or something like that, and you want to be able to trigger the camera coming on. I don't have that capability. I've only got two wires. The trigger would be, you'd go to like a separate switch to turn the cameras off and on, and you would put a 12 volts, uh, a positive voltage to that to trigger the camera to come on. All right, let's see how much success we're going to have feeding this in here. Oh, yeah, no problem whatsoever. And then I can't turn the camera around, unfortunately, and show you marking it, but this thing is slotted. And I'm just going to put me a nice little reference mark in the middle so if i have to do some fine adjustment i can do that all right it's easy don't worry about this this is easy breezy okay and put just a few little holes in here there we go clean that off all right this is getting simpler by the minute and this has got a twist. This has got a little O-ring on it for weather tight, even though it's going to be inside. And this has got a bit of a, it's keyed. It's got a twist lock to it to make sure it locks in tight. Make sure you lock it and pull on it. All right, we're putting the finishing touches on this. Really simple. Just don't over tighten it. You got your gasket here. Make sure that this fits tight within the gasket and just pull the screws up good and snug like i said don't overdo it in this composite here you'll strip it out really easy all right now that we've got it good and tight we'll come back and adjust this once we get it all set up uh, three antennas all three are identical just put your antenna on and get it don't take a pair of pliers and stick to this you'll snap it super finger tight that's all you need and you got plenty of adjustment now, according to the instructions, you want to have the antenna uh, vertical to the ground, not horizontal. You want to have it vertical to the ground. And I'm going to bring mine forward just ever so slightly. All right. There we go. Looks just like factory. Doesn't that look great?